Scott are checking on that first alert weather with the chief. We've got some changes coming our way with the temperature, Scott. Yeah, a lot of us got outside today, get a little mental health break, soaking up the sunshine. And yeah, we're going to see the sunshine tomorrow. It's going to be colder for you. So we're going to see some sunshine filtering through, I should say. Mostly cloudy skies on the way. Small precip chances. So it's turning colder and windier tonight behind the cold front that's slowly moving through. There's a very low chance that we could see some snowflakes mix in with very low chance of some rain overnight and into tomorrow. Tomorrow. Warmer temperatures are back in the forecast for Saturday and Sunday, where we have more sunshine returning. And you can see the front sliding its way slowly down to the southeast. Uh, north and west of that, it's 50 in Bowie right now, but Corsican is at 66. We're at 64 in Tyler. So the front has made its way through most of the Metroplex. We're in the upper 50s to the low 60s, and our winds have turned northerly near about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So you're not going to notice a big blast of colder air, but you're definitely going to need the coat going into tomorrow. In into tonight, rain chances around 10%. Therefore, it's upper 40s by the time we get to near midnight, and then overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, we'll see those temperatures cool back down into the 30s. So we're looking at this upper level system out to the west that's continued to drop its way southeastward. Rain and then snow mixing in near Lubbock. Already seeing some snow today in Amarillo. So that system, that upper level energy, is going to rotate its way overhead as we go through the remainder of the night tonight and then into the early morning hours. So small light rain chances in the forecast. One to near 5 o'clock as we do start out the day for your Friday. Maybe see a little bit of those snow, wet snowflakes trying to mix in. I don't think we're going to be causing any issues or it will cause any issues on the roadways. And then it's going to be a cold Friday for you. Still some leftover rain sticking around that 10% chance for your Friday afternoon. So make it through tomorrow with a start out of about 39 to 40 degrees. We're up to about 46. But when you factor the winds out of the north, northwest near 15 to 25, it's going to feel like the 30s all day long. So Broccoli cheddar soup for tomorrow if that's what you need to warm yourself on up. Now, going into the weekend, we have a drier weekend on the way. However, don't put the umbrella away because Monday and Tuesday, let me help you plan the start of the work week, plan your Valentine's Day. We have a lot of rain on the way for us going into Monday night and then into Tuesday morning. The rain sticking around tapers off late Tuesday morning into the afternoon, then shifts its way off towards the east. So we could see another maybe half of an inch to near three quarters of an inch of rain with the next system going into next week. So the seven day forecast shows that we have 46 tomorrow. We're up to 53 Saturday, but look at your morning temperature below the freezing mark. Some spots will be in the upper 20s at the freezing mark Sunday morning. We're up to 60 degrees still there on Monday. Rain chances 80% to then 60% on Valentine's Day. We're not going to be seeing a big blast of cold air. We're even warmer on Wednesday with the sunshine returning 74 for the high. Then we have a dry front move through, cooling us back down to a high of only 50 by next Thursday.